Hey crafters, welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm G and so happy that you're with us today. We are going to be creating pinwheel cards. This is a beautiful card to me that looks like a quilt. It uses a beautiful pinwheel design that allows you to pick the color and you to pick the design of your DSP to create that beautiful card. Now, this card is a very fast card to create, so hang on. The first thing you'll need to do is cut your base card. We are using a top fold. So you're gonna take your card stock and you're going to cut it at four and a fourth and score it at five and a half. And I wanna remind you, head on over to creativemomentsbyg.com you can click on the blog, you'll see the picture. We have all the measurements and all the supplies that you need to recreate this card. After you have created your top fold card, you need to go ahead and create a mat. Now you really need to think about the colors that you're going to use. We wanted to use very vanilla because we are bringing in some DSP and look at that, it is so pretty. This has some beautiful gold on it, and then this just really matches because it has some gold too. Now you will need to cut eight squares, two different designs, and your squares are one and one fourth inch. You also need to cut two larger squares because you're going to use this as your design template, but you're gonna put it on the card. And this is two and five eighths inch square. So what you need to do is use your grid paper or use a ruler. We need to line up these squares. It's very important because this will be used as your template. So you can see that we are going to put it just like that, and we're gonna glue those two pieces together. So let's just make sure that we have it lined up. Now I wanna remind you, it's our December video and we are having Christmas fun games. So let me tell you about the game that we're having with this video. We want you to leave your comment below the video. Number one, what is your favorite card that we made today? Let us know and tell us why. Number two in your comment, how does Santa deliver gifts when there's no fireplace? Have fun with your answer. We are giving you until Saturday, December 10th at noon. So make that comment, get it posted before uh, Saturday afternoon. That's December 10th. We're going to put the names in our spinner wheel and we'll randomly select someone for the gratitude gift that we will be mailing out next week. So have some fun with this. Okay, so we have our little template created and this is what will help you as you create the pinwheel. This is a very fast card, but you really need this template to, to get it going. So let's go ahead and get that built. Now, only on the first square, we're going to line all the squares up to the points. So that's all you have to remember. This first one here, we are going to just put glue on the right-hand side. And we're doing that because we're going to lift it up on the very last square. So all you have to remember is leave yourself a nice little border so it looks pretty and only glue half of this down. See, the left-hand side is up. Now, the rest of them, you're going to alternate the colors and you're gonna glue them down. So, you don't have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and add some glue. And we are going to make two cards today. We are going to step it up on the next one. 
and stay with us because we have an additional alternative card to show you. So I'm now going to pick up the next pattern so that we're alternating the patterns. Put my glue all over the back and line it up with this point. Now I'm taking in the alternating pattern, lining it up with this point, making sure that I leave a little border. I'm leaving a little bit of that vanilla color. I'm picking up the alternative pattern and I'm going to line it up with this point. Now I'm lining up to this point. You can see how easy this is to recreate. It's so easy. I'm going to line up to this point. Now remember, this very first square that we put on, we left it up on the left-hand side because this one's going to slip underneath it. So let's go ahead and glue that down and just slip it underneath and line it up. And look at our beautiful pinwheel. Now we're going to bring in our card and we are going to stamp this using the Stamparatus because we want to make sure that we get a really nice printed sentiment. And our sentiment is, let's celebrate you. So let's just put this right at the bottom. We are going to use our memento to stamp it. Tap, tap, tap. And it doesn't have to be dark the first time because we have it in the Stamparatus, so we can stamp as many times as we need. Tap, tap, tap. Perfect. Now we can run it through our embossing folder. You need to always stamp it first because it will lighten it up just a little bit. And we are going to use this beautiful embossing folder. Can you see that? So let's line that up. And look how pretty that is. You can still see the sentiment. Now, if you tried to stamp this on an embossed mat, it would not work. So let's go ahead and lay this down. We are going to set this up on some dimensionals and we can just put it in the four corners right here and one right in the center. And now you're going to line this up straight right on the front of your card and make sure that the same distance on the side borders is there. So let's go ahead and just get this laid down. Let's put a few little gems. Now we need to lay down the sentiment map on the inside. And we have our first pinwheel card. Isn't that beautiful? Just love this. And there are so many possibilities depending on the color and the design of the paper that you choose. But let's move over to another pinwheel card we're going to make. Now this one, we're going to step it up a notch. We are actually 
going to have a cutout and put our pinwheel inside the cutout. So let me show you how to do that. We went ahead and we cut our template out. Remember, this is just a square, two and five eighths. You have two of them and you get them exactly where you want them. So we're gonna put this right here, right in the center. And I'm going to draw around because I need to know where to cut out this design just so that we can fit a square over this area. Now, I found a square that's a little bit bigger than this area, and I am going to get this centered and just cut this out. I'm gonna cut it out this way first, and then I'm gonna turn it, and I'm gonna cut on the points right here. So let's get this cut out. I'm going to just pop out this square, and now I'm going to match those points up to this square and cut it out one more time. And now we have our template actually cut out. You can look here and see if there are any pencil marks that you need to erase. I need to erase a little one right there. Go ahead and get that erased. We're going to stamp our sentiment right here. And I've decided to stamp thanks a bunch. So we're gonna bring in our Stamparatus going to line this up in the furthest left hand corner and use your magnets and we are going to stamp with Blackberry Bliss. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, we're gonna leave this one just flat. We won't be embossing this one. We're using Blackberry Bliss to create our top fold. We are going to just glue this straight down to the base card. Make sure that you get it centered. And now we are going to use our template that we put together. We cut out our DSP that we wanted to use, four pieces of one design and four pieces of another design. We're going to start with this one. And remember, on the first one, you only put glue on the right-hand side. and you start with this point at the top and just lay it down. Make sure that you have a little border of white or what other, whatever color you chose. And now we're going to lay down alternating patterns to each point. Now remember, this first one should not be glued down on the left-hand side, right here. So you just need to make sure that you can pick it up. Now you'll need to put just a little bit of glue right there. And now you have your pinwheel. Now on this one, we are going to set it up on dimensionals. 
so that it is raised from this base. So let's get our dimensionals. And I'm just going to take the back off. Now you want to make sure you get it lined up. And look at this one. You can tell that it's raised. So pretty. And this is just a way to step it up a little bit. You can actually put some additional foam under there to really raise it up even more. Or you could raise up the base and put this recessed. Put it down instead of raising it up. So either way would be pretty. But let's go ahead and lay our sentiment mat down on the inside. And now here are the two cards that we created today. And let's look at the other two cards. Here's the one that I showed you earlier. Love this. We emboss the front. And then finally, look at this card. We have these beautiful gems here on the thank you. We alternated. We double matted it. So this is card number one. Let's celebrate you. Thanks a bunch, number two. Thank you and thank you with all my heart. Remember, look below right there. This is Christmas Fun Games. Two things you need to do. And if you forget, check below the video. Number one, you need to tell us which card did you like the best? Number one, two, three, or four, or just list what the sentiment was. And number two, how does Santa deliver gifts when there's no fireplace? How is that possible? Have fun with your answer. We need two answers from you in your comments, and you have until December 10th at noon to place those comments. Well, we hope that you go out, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.